It's the real deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we're taking on Sari in um, the Crimson Riot today. And we're at level six already. Um, this has been huge for the account. Um, I do want to try and push into level seven so we can start to get these material to temper our gear. Tempering your gear just massively bumps up your stats. It's crazy what it can do to your account. Um, but if we look at level seven... You need two teams and it's 17.5 mil. I think it's going to be a while before we can do that. But we come back to level six and let's just look at the gear this up for grabs. So madness and um, 15 percent attack summons attacks plus 30 and HP decays over time. This is a great damage set and uh, for summoners. Then we've got extraction, which is plus 15 percent HP. When a summon receives crit damage, heals for 5% of max HP. So this will make your summoners really, really tanky. It's just a, a different way to play the game, but I really, really like it. Um, and then we've got Gnaw, which is um, some accuracy. The basic attack of summons removes 20% of the target's current shield. Cannot exceed 100% of attack. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this gear set. It doesn't look like the best to me, but... Maybe like further on in the game, we'll need it for a specific boss. Um, and Herald um, increases shield strength by 30%. This is great for certain tanks in the game. Uh, Boar, this is great for Boar. So yeah, Herald is a pretty good gear set as well. Uh, this is the team that we're running. So we've got Orthan, Anpu, Raven, Serena, and Jax. Two summoners doing damage. Uh, Raven doing obviously um, AoE damage. Orthan doing AoE damage and tanking like a boss. And then Serena as our healer. We got Discar as our um as our commander, enhancing our summons. Got praying eyes for Ravenar to do more damage. Company of Heroes, one of my favorite prototypes. It's gonna help keep our HP topped up while increasing the damage that Orthan does. And then we've got Scholar's Monument as well, which is great for healing and keeping everyone's HP topped up. So we'll just use one ticket for now. And so in this fight, all we want to do is try and take out the Spiderlings as quickly as possible. Um, they sort of get these bombs on them. You do not want them to blow up. If they blow up, you will wipe. So yeah, so it's all about just doing as much damage as we can, as quickly as we can to just try and drop these Spiderlings. And when the Spiderlings drop, that will do damage to the boss. And there you go. You can see that the bombs are starting to tick away. But we're doing this pretty comfortably. I mean, Anpu's probably doing insane damage with his AoE, her like bomb that he drops. And then, yeah, Jax and his minions are just getting work done for us as well. And so those, because it was only two Spiderlings, we can tank it, we can survive. It's all good, boys. We're still, we're still in there. Wow, look at look at Anpu go. Almost like a sort of 50 mil lead over Jax. Um, saying that though, Jax, he's nowhere near as well built as Anpu. Anpu, like plus four awakening, um, where immortal plus two, Jax is mythic plus two, um, and has nowhere near as good gear as Anpu. So I mean, if Jax was as well built as Ampu, I think he would absolutely, you know, just leave him in, just, you know, leave him in the dirt, just absolutely just smash him. Ravenar doing some pretty good work as well. She's just immortal um, with plus two awakening. But yeah, there's a big, big, big difference. She's got some pretty good gear on her as well, but no tempered gear. And then like Orthan, just look at him go like, it's just absolutely crazy what he can do. Just my favorite tank in the game right now. Just, just like he does damage. He tanks, he revives. He just does it all. Um, you definitely want to try and get your hands on a copy of all of these heroes as soon as you can. Um, I would probably, I don't know. I'd like to say that I prioritize Jax over Anpu, but there are like early on in the game, there are events. So it's quite easy to get a lot of copies of Anpu and push him harder. But saying that, Jax, 
does so much more than just like Anpu, just even even at a low level. So yeah, but they they're all good heroes. Like you know, I don't really want to to slam anyone, but yeah, they are very very good. So almost at the end right now, just and we can see like we're sitting comfortably here. Everyone is you know sort of fifty percent HP and above should be pretty good down to 1% and there we go the disrespect just got real sit down let's um let's check out the gear and the builds on all the heroes so we'll kick it off with Orthan he's in triple Vigoria set and substats we're looking for are HP and accuracy and damage reduction accuracy is going to be good for sort of more for waves and arena um but yeah hp percentage on the gloves and we've got some damage reduction there as well nice uh, hp percentage on the helmet and then uh, damage reduction on the boots a whopping 1.2 mil hp 35 accuracy and then 45 percent damage reduction plus 20 on the exclusive talents uh down to six Anpu in his ridiculously crazy build, um, 37k attack, uh, 62 accuracy, and then 14.4% damage reduction, and 331k HP. Need HP, you need damage reduction, he needs to be a little bit tanky, you don't want him just to get absolutely wrecked. And uh, so gear set, we've got um, four pieces of hero, and two pieces of Hawkeye for accuracy, uh, attack percentage on the gloves, on the helm, and on the boots as well. Maxed out that exclusive, uh, maxed out on talents as well. And yeah, like I said, potential down to plus four. And uh, I am heavily focusing on Awakening Ampu. So yeah, when I'm farming, I literally just put it into him. Ravenar as well. Um, so gear, she has uh, two pieces sun signet and then uh, burst armor as well. Looking for crit rate, crit damage, and attack. Uh, crit damage on the gloves, uh, attack percentage on the helm, and then attack percentage on the boots. Would love to swap out these gloves. She really, really does need it, but I just don't have anything better for crit damage at the moment. 25k attack, 37% crit rate and then 50% crit damage exclusive at plus 17 <laughs> for big baby um talents maxed out potential one thing i really like about this can we see it here no you'd have to come out all right i'll, I'll leave it or well, can we observe nope all right we'll leave it um, and then if we come further down to Jax, wait, is that everyone? A Serena, almost forgot Serena. Serena, Immortal plus three. Um, almost full um, legendary gear. So Abundance set is great on her, getting that extra healing. Ideally, this would be Vigorious, but, you know, I've only got so much on the account, so I've sort of had to swap it out for defense. But yeah, defense, HP, damage reduction, all nice on her. Got HP percentage on the gloves, HP percentage on the helm, and then defense on the boots. I'd rather it be damage reduction. Might be able to swap it out right out right now. No, more defense. Ugh. Just defense, defense, defense. Damage reduction. There we go. All right, let's let's swap that out because that will just help her stay alive. So much more. Definitely worth. So yeah, if we just come back, so we're at um, 751k HP, 54% damage reduction. That is a big jump. 2.3k uh, 2 defense down from 4k, but I guarantee the damage reduction is going to do way, way more work for us. Uh, exclusive plus 20. Uh, talents fully maxed out as they should be. And then last but not least... Coming all the way down to Jax. And yeah, Jax. Every time I look at him, I just... He is such a good hero, but he's so freaky. Uh, he's just this weird fish boy. I just are uh, not a fan. 
like who uses like a fish as a bazooka honestly um but yeah so he's um yeah mythic plus two gear we've gone for um hawkeye and then for extraction so this is the plus 15 and when summons receive crit damage heals for five percent so this makes him really really nice and tanky um i could probably swap it out for damage as well but i do like him in this build it means that i can use him to tank stuff for me so we've got 50% HP on the gloves, um, accuracy on the helm, and then damage reduction on the boots. Triple S, nice. Um, so we've got 389k um, HP, 177 accuracy, and then 57% damage reduction. Exclusive plus 10. Ah, oh, I was like, no brainer, let's max it out. But yeah, we need to hit legendary first. Talents should be maxed out. And that is going to make a big difference. But we're only plus four, so definitely will get stuff done for us. And you can't awaken him for obvious reasons because he is just so broken. If you could awaken Jax, I mean, he would just be like the ultimate hack for the game. But that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash, 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 that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.